right, well, I am really excited for our next guest. He is one of the co-founders of Meetup, a, a website and an app that I'm sure everybody's heard of. And this is the kind of stuff where I get really passionate because it's that kind of a same thing that created the podcast that we're watching today. So please, put your hands together for Scott Hyperman. Come on out, Scott Trudor. Hey. What up? Thank you so much for coming out. All right, yeah. All right have a seat. Thank you. People, just anybody who doesn't know what Meetup is, talk to them about what you're doing. If you could just give us the quick, like, you know, 30-second understanding of what it is and where it came from. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's, it's very simple. How do, how do people find, find the others in their town, in their city, in their neighborhood who, uh, who share some common, common interest, common passion, common, you know, common health condition, common whatever, and, uh, and, and how do they meet up? So how do they, people yeah. use the Internet to get off the Internet and, uh, and form community? Okay, so the first thing I want to know about is like, what kind of patterns have you noticed? Because I'm imagine, you know, I imagine how awesome it is to have this data at hand, where you have people from all over the world that are connecting over topics, and I'm sure you have these kind of categorized by keywords or some kind of mechanism. Like, what are you learning about like what the world likes to do socially? Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, we, you know, we cooked up this idea, um, you know, from weird circumstances, and everything we thought that people would meet up about, they didn't meet up about, and what people do meet up about are things we hadn't, we didn't think of, and we didn't imagine. Like what, bananas and stuff, or? No, no well, no, you know, actually, so yeah, we thought that it would be just <laughs> random weird shit, you know, yeah, like yeah. bananas, but actually turns out no one wants to meet up about bananas. Oh. Uh, like one one person. Definitely. Yeah, no, they want to meet up about this like important stuff in their life, or you know that they're a that they became a new mom and they don't know the other new moms. So how do they meet the new moms? Or they ah. want to go hiking, they want to go really advanced hiking, or they want to go really easy hiking, and their friends want to do the opposite. So how do they do it? So so, so are there are there milestone clusters like I guess yeah kids marriage breakups is that stuff? Yeah, there's definitely the life the life cycle life stage change of life. You move to a new town. You 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 know you're diagnosed with something whatever. But then there's just the this idea of of you know the app is like this like bus pass to possibility <laughs> where you can right. where you can basically say hey you know. There are these people in my city. There's people in my town that are that are interested in things, and they're forming these communities. and And I never realized that I could, you know, like practice my French language, or I <laughs> right, could, right. or I could, you know, play board games, or I could, um, you know, uh, you know, pursue this tech career. I can, you know, I can learn to yeah. be a programmer by essentially being in a study group with other program with other wannabe programmers. Yeah, I just want to like. Yeah, I want to go to the website and just like search for weird stuff that I didn't even know I wanted to go to, and then I'll find out about it. Yeah. But uh, okay, so a little anecdote. Like next week we have a professional rock skipper on the show. Um, he's able to get 64 like rock skips, right? And I was doing my pre-interview with him. 64. Yeah, which is which he holds the world record right now, and he's wow. he's on next week. Stay tuned. But uh, the cool thing about that is that like he's I, he's all pro. He's like won the competitions, but I didn't even know there was competitions. Like I didn't even know that you could be pro. I didn't even know yeah. that they had. Things. So, like, what are some anecdotes that um, you've noticed that, like, you just didn't know was going to happen, and people like have this passion for? Oh, oh, man, uh, that's where do you, where do you begin? I mean, I mean, I, you know, despite what I said of how like, oh, no one wants to meet up about bananas. I actually wouldn't be surprised if there is a <laughs> banana meetup in some city uh, around the world. Yeah, no, there's uh, there's no no end to the. Um, I, I remember seeing a, I remember seeing not not too long ago that there were these competing meetup groups in Singapore uh, around Elf Elvis impersonators oh, really? and they like oh, there was right enough yeah. there was enough there were enough Elvis uh, impersonators in Singapore that they had two different meetups and they were they ended up being in this I mean we're all about like this kind of love and community and people you know coming to you know find the people and realize that people are generally good but then all just like all hell breaks loose and like really you know this humanity of fierce Competition between the Elvis impersonators in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, you know, and I, I live in you know in Le New York. Lenny, Lenny was part of that group. Maybe it was rough. Yeah, Elvis. This yeah. was the smaller one. Yeah, I love Elvis. <laughs> yeah, I, I, is Elvis still around? <laughs> yeah, he is. Should I, is it does he live? Where does he live? <laughs> he, I don't know. I think he's from California, but he performs oh. every once in a while. I, yeah, everyone should go look up and see Elvis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure? Mexican Elvis. The Mexican yeah. Elvis. <laughs> okay, all right. So talk to me about uh, what you've learned about that other people could use. So I know maybe some people out here are passionate about 
uh, certainly their businesses and their startups, but like if they wanted to create a meetup and it's a unique product, mm -hmm. what do you recommend they do to like really make it work right so they don't have a bad experience? Um, you know, really, it's just about having a spirit of being welcoming. I mean, I mean, it's sort of like look at look at where we are here and and the the spirit of downtown. It's 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 at it, at its heart, at its soul. It's it's that there's a um, you know, it's th there's this this idea that that we can uh, that we can be welcoming, that these collisions can happen with people uh, because um, uh, and that people are, are are open to it and then they're w and they're welcome to it. And so there is. There is a you know kind of a natural I don't even want to call it an art and science. There is a natural uh, idea of people uh, you know um, being the kind of people these meetup organizers who who really get off on the notion of of isn't it amazing that you, that they can be a, that you can be a catalyst for yeah, people yeah. to connect because if if you believe that the best thing in the world the it's best thing bananas. in the world yeah. is not bananas. Oh, okay. If the that what is what's the best thing in the world? Uh, pizza. No. Um, Tiddly rinks? Who said that? Chicken wings. Oh, chicken wings. Any, any other idea? What's the best thing in the world? Being loved. Connected? Women? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Women. I mean, the, the best thing in the world is is these like these the best relationships you know that you that you that you have your friendships your yeah. uh, like like the yeah, like you know the security and the feeling of like. Well, I mean, that's that's taking it like you know. A little too that, far. That that, <laughs> that 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 is college <laughs> words there. I'm I'm just talking about like hey if you if you've ever if you listen. If you happen to be one of those people who have ever uh, had a friend that you liked, um, then uh, then then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The best thing in the world is just like you know connecting with people that you like yeah, and like being um, able to be comfortable and like just yeah we know yeah. you can't say it but like you feel it that that thing. So right so basically the answer to your question is like uh, you know r recognizing that if you you know that you can be someone. That, uh, that that connects people by you know just saying hey you know what someone needs to start a meetup about bananas I'm gonna do it so that these people connect and right. and who knows where where it goes from there <laughs> do you have other people that you want to like maybe credit for that or like what would you say or the other factors that like came together especially may maybe something people mm. could learn from yeah well first off you know it's like we're we're we're, uh, we're the overnight success that has taken 12 years um, yeah, yeah, yeah so we are so no I love I love when people think that meetup is kind of new it means that like the, you know, it, you know, it, it's it's like growing the and mainstream thing. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that it's that it's that uh, that that uh, that it's that you know the hard slog of building something and working on something. That yeah, it, so, what year was the original idea? Uh, we started in two thousand two. Okay, so okay, we're, yeah, we're yeah, twelve so years okay. old. But um, yeah, to okay. answer your question, I th I'm a I'm a firm believer that uh, that it's uh, teams win. That that really uh, it is all about the team that you put together. The team that comes together for something that makes that is everything. It makes or breaks, uh, and that, that the, you know this idea that it's like the cowboy entrepreneur that that leaders are are, are everything. That is just such a bunch yeah. of bunk. Uh, it really is about you know, um, and it really yeah, is. It's like also the kind of the evolved, the, so yeah. the spirit of of you know kind of meet up itself. But yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I was I was lucky as hell to, to you know hook up with the original five of us that started it, and then and then you just look at um, everything uh, everything that works is because uh, is because there's someone who cares about something yeah. who's working on the project together. And the, and the main the core five people did you all have pretty different skills, and then you like just had a good relationship and could communicate? Is that yes. kind of the core of the engine? Yes, yes, anything? we're very very different different okay. skills different you know and even different and even different you know. Different kinds of people, um, but uh, uh, you know, you 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 um, yeah, you're trying to put a puzzle together of the of the the right. talents needed to, to to pull something off. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's it. But is the other call to action like uh, where could people? I mean, everybody knows the website, but yeah, yeah, app, but, but it's like, you know, like what we stand for is not just the company or the app or whatever. We we, we stand for this idea that um, uh, that. Um, you know, people are powerful together, and, and not in a like not in a big activist way. Although that's pretty good too. It did, but that that um, you know, the, the call to action is um, is realize that that important. No matter how old you are, you know, there, like the, the, Im, there will be important people um, in your life that you haven't met yet. Like to be open to that. And also, I'll I'll tell you what. Speaking of speaking of like the critical things that made this company work was. My first job out of college was uh, at Sony Electronics in New Jersey, and at orientation, orientation, I sat next to a guy. 
Uh, that guy, I've worked with ever since for 20 years, and he's the CFO and co-founder of Meetup. And who would have known? Right? And, it's and it's like, like one of those moments, always, yeah. you know, the person sitting next to you might end up being someone important in your life. And, and listen to this. The, the person sitting next to you right now is smarter than you about something. Kind of complimenting yourself there. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I about it, yeah. something. <laughs> I don't know. Some, there's something. Yeah. <laughs> the person you're sitting next to you is a genius, and you yeah. need to follow him. No, okay. and so to really uh, yeah, real, to get yourself in situations where you're sitting next to someone. Right. They, 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 there's something that they're smarter than you about. Right. Solving solutions in new ways. So, all right. Yeah. Give them a round of applause. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you coming out. Thank you for coming to talk to us. And enjoy your time here in Vegas. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.